Hello traders, happy Thursday. It is November 21st. This is my trading update. So I ended up taking losses again in these accounts. And as you can see, they look a lot bigger. And that is because I have, I'm actually using a lot more risk um, and it's all calculated. I realize that I've got so many days till these things reset and I'd rather utilize the um, my strategy results as far as like my win rate and leverage that and use the risk that they've afforded me because the worst case scenario, I'm gonna pay another fee um, and if I've blown them up, then they'll reset for free or I might start to gain some headway and pass. So anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, losses across the board, but as always, I'm sticking to my process and my process is one and done. So that's it for there, but let's look at some things and there's a couple of little observations that I had today that I think I'm going to start to incorporate with model 12 and I'm going to hide the results and we'll go over the details of a couple of things that have stood out to me. So we return to this four hour bearish order block and inside here if you look like we got we got a lot of wicks right if this is tight price action well I'm going to switch to a five minute chart in a moment to actually show you the entry on my ninja trader charts but what I'm when it's one thing if price comes into an order block and then out it goes with not a lot of uh, wicks showing an area where they've really painted back and forth. And so that's kind of one thing that stood out to me. So I'm going to switch over to my Ninja Trader charts, but just keep this in mind. This is the four hour order block that we came into. Yes, we went all the way through it. I don't generally like to see that. But we came up through it and then we started coming back down and then you have the wicks painting so that's like efficiently rebalancing any inefficiency in here so keep that in your mind when we look at the ninja trader chart all right so switching to the ninja trader chart these up candles would be the order block on a five minute and so once we went lower we could see what did price do it came up body wise totally respected the mean uh threshold of the or uh, mean threshold of the order block yeah the wicks went a little bit past it but it's this move that all of a sudden we went lower displacing lower leaving behind this fair value gap right here i got short two ticks below per my process and the bummer is i got stopped out like right uh at the 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 high of 70 14. look at that the high of this 7014, it's like to the tick, stopped out, boom, and then it reversed. So what I feel like that this and this and it would have if I would have entered in at the top, it delivered 26 ticks in this in this candle. And so what I feel like is an observation is from that previous chart I was showing where you have a really good painting through back and forth. And actually, let me just switch back to it for a moment. In here, we have not yet like had a big breakaway. And this is a 15 minute chart, by the way. On here, we haven't had a big breakaway. But then going back to Ninja Trader chart, when you have a fair value gap, it's like when when should you possibly consider not putting your entry at the low? I'm submitting to you that, and I don't know this for a fact, I'm just starting to observe this, and so I wanna note this for future trades, is when I see that kind of price action, and yes, I'm gonna get in on the five minute like I just did here, I might wanna actually consider getting in at the top because of the fact that it's it's showing some kind of painting through. Like even like this this bullish fair value gap here, price comes down, doesn't come all the way through it, but like it's it's painting through it. Then we come up. So it's not leaving these inefficiencies completely intact. It is filling them in. So that's just an observation I had. If I would have done that and I would have had my stop or my entry near the, the high of the fair value gap, um, it would have delivered the 26 and my stop loss would have been fine at 18 ticks up here. The other flip side, which I don't really want to do, is still keep everything exactly the same, but consider moving my stop above the, the third candle. If I do that, then first of all, I'm increasing my risk a lot. But from a price action standpoint, that, that could also make sense. So if I do something like this, then I just need to make sure I enter in with smaller risk 
because of the fact that if I want to account for this and I want to go for at least one to one, or actually I'd like to start going for like 1.3 uh, reward to risk, just to start to make up when I, when I have a couple losses, it'd be nice to only have a, a few wins that completely erase it and still put me into profit. So that's what I'm kind of thinking of. But for the most part, you know, I'm not, I'm not changing anything. It's just an observation that when you see all a lot more of just this price action wicking through, yes, this is displacement. Absolutely. But again, on that, going back to that 15 minute chart, which we can even just do right here without skipping back to the Ninja Trader, I mean, a uh, trading view chart. If you look at this, like, this is like Wick Central. Like, see, for this fair value gap painted through. This one, you don't even have anything here yet. So it's just, it's just your inside. That entry that I did was basically still inside of all of the wick action and and it went up and you know it is what it is. But again, I am celebrating today because I stopped at one trade. Um I mean that's that's the point. The point is having a process, taking time, maybe still observe some of these things. Nothing nothing is gonna work a hundred percent of the time. Uh so the important thing is when you find it not working, you just you got to know when to stop because I could keep going back, trying to make this up and then creating a larger hole. And then it's going to create a huge deficit in my psychology because I'm going to have to beat myself up for not doing what I said I was going to do. And while I'm not going to lie to you, do I like taking this loss? Of course not. Do I want to get it back? Yes, I do. But I'm willing to wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to provide me another opportunity and I'll look for that tomorrow and see if I can't get an, a winning trade. It's not a big deal to have two losses. Matter of fact, yesterday wasn't a loss. It was a break even day. So the day before was a loss. Yesterday was a break even day and today was a loss. Okay, no big deal. Live to trade another day. So anyway, that's the update for today. Hope you guys are doing well. We're getting close to the end of the week and then Thanksgiving week uh, next week. So I hope you guys are all uh, getting your game plan in order. I hope you're taking advantage of Apex 80% off sale. Um, if you do want to check them out, I have a, my affiliate link should be popping up and or you could click on the link that's in the video description. I would appreciate it. So anyway, traders, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking more from the markets than it's taken from you. May the ticks be forever in your favor. Peace out.